begin surgery by shaving the mouse, placing it under anesthesia, and sterilizing the abdomen and chest at the planned operative site. Make a vertical midline incision in the abdomen with a scalpel, exposing the peritoneum. Make another vertical midline incision in the peritoneum for insertion of the telemeter. Insert the telemeter in the right abdomen underneath the peritoneum, leaving only the leads exposed. Sew the peritoneum closed and subcutaneously implant telemeter leads such that the negative or white lead is implanted in the upper right chest and the positive or red lead is implanted over the left upper abdomen. Finally, close the skin with sutures. Hi, I'm Mark McCauley from the Laboratory of Xander Warens in the Department of Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine. Today I'll be showing you a technique for implanting ECG telemeters in mice. We use this technique to study changes in heart rate and heart rhythm in mice. So, let's get started. Before inserting an ECG telemeter into the mouse, it is important to make sure the telemeter is sterile and in good working order. This is an example of a small animal telemeter from Data Sciences International with a red positive lead and a white negative lead. Each lead has an insulating sheath, two millimeters of exposed wire, and a plastic capped tip, which prevents erosion of the lead through the skin. New telemetry devices are typically provided in a sterile condition by the manufacturer, but telemeters can be reused provided they are cleaned using Turgozyme 1% solution for over four hours. Additionally, use Wavicide 01 disinfectant overnight to sterilize the ECG telemeter. Be sure to wash the disinfectant off with sterile water before implantation into mice. Check the telemeter leads for integrity of both...